Hello everyone, this is Tim here with Tech Muscle. Today I would like to show you how to use the snipping tool. Uh, this comes stock on Windows 11 and Windows 10. I am not sure at what point Windows started implementing this. Uh, those are the only two versions I've used it on because I just learned to use it uh, about three years ago or so, two or three years ago in school. I found it very interesting, it's very useful, I use it all the time. So uh, this is how you find the snipping tool in Windows. You go here to your search bar. It's not going to automatically come up probably for you if you've never searched it before. So you're going to type in here. Okay, and there it is there. You can also open it here. I prefer to just click on it there. So this uh, small screen here is going to come up. Okay, this is how you're going to take your pictures right here. This is how you're going to control what kind of pictures you take. Okay, the reason I call this a snipping tool is because you can take a snip of your screen and not the entire screenshot so you cannot reveal sensitive information and still show somebody what your screen is saying or showing you. So we're going to go into that first. Rectangle mode, it should be defaulted to rectangle mode if I'm not mistaken. But if not, you can change it here to rectangle mode. This is how you're going to take a very basic snip. Okay. Not a, a not a full screen picture, just a snip. You can totally determine whatever whatever you want to snip. So this is how it's going to go. You're going to press the new this here. You uh, there was a shortcut there. I'll go back to it here in a moment to show you. I just click on new and go from here. Okay, you're going to press your left mouse key or whichever your action key is, and you're going to drag. I'm just going to take a picture of this Uber. Okay, you see how it makes that nice white square. Boom. Okay, and there it is. See, I took a picture of only that and nothing else on my screen. Everything else is hidden, completely private, not in the picture. Okay. Okay, so next up is going to be an entire screenshot. Okay, you have two options. Window mode. Okay, it does kind of show you, uh, it does kind of show you there that there's kind of no bottom on the window. So what it's going to do, it's going to leave your toolbar out of the picture. Okay, we'll, we'll snip a picture of that really quick. Okay, this one's a little different. I got to remember. Okay, and then I think I clicked there. Or do I? Okay, you click on the screen. I'm sorry, it's a little different. I don't use that one very much. So you're going to, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to window mode when it, it goes on the screen and you're just going to click on your screen and it'll snap the picture. It's the only one that works like that. Okay, oops, I just minimized my tool. But okay, as you can see, my bottom toolbar is gone. Okay, now if you want a screenshot where it shows your bottom toolbar, you're going to go to full screen mode. And it does the same thing, only check this out. Boom, it's done, right? It snips it yourself. I didn't have to click the screen. <laughs> Anyways, uh, regardless how you do it, it uh, that's okay. And as you can see, there it has the bottom toolbar in my picture. Okay, maybe you have something sensitive, you just don't want it there, it's not enough room, whatever. Uh, so there you go, there's another option. or And this is one's kind of the coolest one of all, because uh, this allows you to do something like the rectangle mode, where you take a snip, but say you don't want a picture that's perfectly square. For some reason, you have a, say you have a perfectly round picture, and you don't want any corners or any extra space, you only want the the perfectly round. This happened to be a rectangular photo I was, ta I was taking, but I'll show you what I mean here about the freeform mode. Pretend this was a, okay, so I'm, I'm on freeform mode. Again, you click new. So say this was a really a circle video. I can go like this. Isn't that so cool? It looks like it's even peeling a layer off. Oops. Uh, don't judge me on the symmetry of my circle. <laughs> no circles are perfect, right? <laughs> I know a little bit about astrophysics. Anyways, okay, so there. I got that. I got the main message of it. This is a very new video, by the way. I haven't watched. I don't know that channel, but it's very interesting that Uber may have been hacked. Uh, so, anyways. Uh, so, there's that one. That's the free form. And that is, by far, in my opinion, the coolest one. Uh, you can put a timer on it, okay, uh, to snip in three seconds, snip in five, snip in ten. Obviously, those are likely for your full screen ones. No, it's not going to do it. You can give me an option on that one. 
it will in the window mode. I don't know. Those are kind of weird. They're different. Uh, I'll have to look into that, why they're so different. Anyways, uh, all of them do have the option to sniff in a few seconds, uh, except for, I believe it was, nope, not window mode, full screen mode. See? No, I can't, I can't select my timer. But I never personally use that. Uh, I'm sure there's someone or something or something out there you can use it for. Somebody that's going to use it for something. Okay. There we go. So uh, one last super cool thing about this this here. Obviously, I can make it full screen. I can uh, zoom in on it. You know, I can save it. I can save it to my disk, and then i got to find the file path and all that type of stuff if I want to share it or find it again, right? I, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. you got to find it in your computer then, right? Okay, but so say you don't want to do that, and you just want to take this photo, and you're like, man, I don't want to save it and try and find it. It's in documents, downloads, a created folder. I don't know where it went. Uh, what you're going to do is right here is an option to copy. There you go. And if you're just going, you're going to take a snip and you're going to send it right away, say on social media, maybe a text or uh, uh, I don't know, a, um, I believe you can even import pictures into Excel, maybe PowerPoint, whatever you're doing. Uh, Control C is your shortcut um, or you can just click right there. That's what I prefer to do. And now that picture has been copied, the picture. And I happen to have Word open with a blank document just to show you. Okay. Check this out. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. And very cool, huh? I put my document into Word. By the way, I run Word in um, complete dark mode and then I change my screen color to black because it saves on my eyes. Uh, especially when I was doing English Comp 1 and 2, it was just a lot of typing and a lot of time on Word, and it really saved on my eyes to have Word darked out. Uh, I do have a video in the uh, same playlist this is in um, on how to set Microsoft Office to dark mode. So um, there's that. I am not going to save this because I don't care. It's not really a picture I wanted. Uh, it's just for the sake of the video. As you can see, there are other editing tools in here, an eraser, a ruler, touch writing, image crop, you can undo what you've done. Okay, and like I said, if you need to, you can save it, you can share it, you can print it. This is how you're going to find where the file is saved, if you can, if you understand that. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, yes, and I don't want to go too much into my own personal stuff. Well, anyway, you should be able to find a, a file on your computer. If not, I'll have to do it. I'll do a video on that, too, how to find your file path. Uh, so anyways, what I really want to show is the very basics of how this works. Okay, like I said, if you do want to save it and go that way, there you go. If you want to print it, there, there you go. Um, how to snip the different options and uh, how to use the paste feature. Because I do that a lot. Let's say I want to... Um, Messenger, Facebook Messenger. I want to show somebody a picture. I'll take, I'll take a snip. I'll copy it, and, I, and I'll open Messenger, and I'll paste it right there. And it saves me so much time of saving that file, having to go open it, and, and then you know upload it from there from Messenger. No, just copy it. You can copy it right into a main Facebook post, uh, or like I said, a, a document or a program such as Word. Anyways. I think everybody gets the idea of how important and useful this sniffing tool is. I hope it super helps. Uh, so everybody have a great day. This is Tim here with Tech Muscle. Stay smart, stay strong. Please like and subscribe the video. And have a great day, I suppose, again.